What's up, people? We are back with more of WAS, the Hourglass of Leopard Um, We are about to find us some sandworms or something because this is Tadayoshi's way of contributing, trying to earn money is by, I don't know, it was some sort of sign or a pamphlet or something where it just says, wanted sandworm and then like a really large bounty for it or just reward so yeah that's currently what we're doing together with Lin so let us continue wow they're selling lots of things I've never seen before and I think we we went to the dune right to the dunes there's a town here I always figured the dune was nothing but sand come on don't get so excited you look stupid and we're still in the tourist area Far from the city, the dune is pretty much what you imagine. Tourist area? Just Japan's restoring its peace, it seems. I don't know the details, as I didn't witness the war with my own eyes. But given how crowded the sightseeing areas are, I imagine Japan is becoming a nicer place to visit. Give me your hand. Huh? Why? Lin is giving me her right hand. You get lost if you le if I leave you hanging around, so I'll hold your hand to make sure you don't get lost. Sure, Lin. I'm sure that's the reason. Okay. I hold her hand as she tells me to. I don't think I've held a man's hand since my brother's. Honestly, why do m men always get so excited about stuff like this? Huh? What did you just say? Nothing. Come on, let's go. Hey, how about eating something before we go out? I'm getting hungry. The delicious smell of food wafts out from several stalls along the street. Those smells make my stomach growl. Hey, don't make a sound like... Sound like what? <sighs> Lin seems to be hungry as well. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. I remember. I interrupted her breakfast. You know what they say, soldiers can't fight on an empty stomach. So let's grab some food. Where should we start? I glance at the stalls. Everything they're selling looks so delicious. What would you like, Lin? Hey, where are you? I realize that Lin is no longer holding my hand. But soon, I find her buying from a stall on the right. Uh, I want a bag of that, and 10 sticks of that, yes, salted, uh, and 3 wheat rice. Hey, is this boiled squid? Yeah, 10 of those, and dang, she's going all out. She keeps ordering one thing after another, like she's casting a spell. Hey, Lin, are you alright to buy that much? I haven't ordered enough. Oh, don't worry about the money. I'm not worried about the money. The food here is a lot cheaper than in the slums. They're practically giving it away. Okay, that's enough. Lin happily takes the paper bag, which is full to bursting with food. Um, this one's good. You should eat too. Excuse me, Lin san? Mmm. I'll eat it all if you don't want any! No, I want to eat, but I'm amazed at how she eats. Lin keeps on eating the food stuffed in the paper bag. How does all that food fit inside her slim body? She should qualify, or she could qualify, as one of the seven wonders of the world. It's just like a vacuum, everything gets sucked in, a black hole. Delicious! Come on, what are you doing? Have this! Eat! I'm hungry too, and I was the one who first suggested getting food, so I grabbed the shish kebab she offered me. Um. The taste of beef spreads inside my mouth. You like that? There's nothing wrong with having some expensive food once in a while. Yeah, it's so delicious. It's as good as the noodles you made before. I haven't eaten beef steak in a long time. I had a frugal life at the church and Lin's place. Come on, you'll never get any taller if you don't eat more. Urgh, I've grown a bit taller than before. 
but since we're on an excursion, it'd be a waste to let myself miss out on delicious food like this. In that case, I'll have some more. Um. Hey, I was about to eat that. Um. First come, first served. That's how it is with Alan and Mirna. <laughs> uh huh. Then I'll take this tofu, uh, tofu chikua. Huh? No way! I was saving that for last. Um, you said first come, first served, right? Ugh. Nearby people are looking at us. This must look pretty funny to them. Oh, what a lovely sight. Are they newlyweds? <laughs> hey, Lin! Don't spit at me! Lin seems to be panicked, her face reddening. Lucky them indeed. That girl is beautiful, but the boy could be a fool, uh, could afford to be taller. <laughs> what did he say about me? Those people are mocking us. They're saying whatever they want. Come on, boy. Let's get out of here. Oh, 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 oh. wait. Lynn drags me by the hand, still blushing. She's got him on the leash, it seems. Mmm. I think women are gonna wear the pants in the relationship from now on. The overbearing husband is a thing of the past. Sh sh shut up! Lin walks away shouting, still dragging me. I've never seen her this panicked. It's kinda cute. Wait, what did I just think of her? Lin is my master. Strong and far above me. How could I think of such a woman as cute? Oh, the dunes, the beautiful dunes of nothingness but just sand. Here we are. Here's that dune you wanted to see so bad. Wow, it's impressive. It really is nothing but sand here. A massive dune is right in front of me. It was bigger and more mystical than I thought. But it's really hot here. I expected that too. Only during the daytime. You know, the desert gets really cold at night. You could freeze to death out here. No way. It's too hot out here. I can't imagine someone freezing to death. It's actually true. It's weird how desert works that way, but yeah. During the day, it's um, incredibly hot. But at night, it can definitely be insanely cold as well. Believe it or don't, but it's not my fault if you get lost. Actual deserts are like that, but I know this place is just a dune, so it won't be that harsh. Ugh, your serious talk scares me. If she's telling the truth, I'm a goner if I get lost. Given how bad I am with directions, I'm going to stick with Lin no matter what. So, like I said, it's nothing but sand. Are you satisfied? We just got here. We still gotta catch a sandworm. Gah. Are you still going on about that? I told you, it's not gonna be that easy. Anyone who thinks they saw one, saw just a, uh, saw a mirage, a mirage. Hey, don't be so unimaginative. This dune is huge. We may find one. Right, I'm going to find it. I'll find the sandworm. Fine, if you insist. Is that? No way! I see a four-legged creature in the distance. It doesn't look lo like what I imagined a sandworm would look like, but I've also never seen one. I'm pretty sure a worm doesn't have four legs. <laughs> hey! Hey, Lin! What's with that hurry tone? L look at that! I found it! That four-legged animal should be the sandworm! It was easier than I thought. Now let's get... Calm down, boy. As I start running to the creature, Lin grabs me by the neck. What are you doing? It'll get away if we don't chase it. <laughs> That's a camel hot shot. Oh my god, did he really think? Oh my god. Huh? A camel? Like the nomads ride? Haven't you seen them in, even in books? Even an idiot knows what a camel is. They're here for the tourists. 
Sh shut up! I thought it was a sandworm at first. But I've never seen a camel either. Is it safe to get close? I'd advise against it. If you're not careful, it'll spit drool at you. And that stuff stinks. <laughs> oh, never mind then. Lin says those camels are for tourists, so I figured they'd be used uh, used to people, but I'm not going to take that risk. Uh, forget camels. Go for the sandworm. Let's find it. Let's find it. <sighs> Ten hours later. <sighs> oh, it's so hot. I'm getting tired. I'm not surprised. Walking on sand is harder than walking on solid ground. Don't forget to stay hydrated. It'll be fatal if you pass out here. Thanks. I drink some water Lin gives me. There's nowhere to hide from the sun, and all the water I drink gets sweated out in no time. We've been walking for hours, but I can't find the sandworm. All we find on the dune are a few camels. Fine. You're right. It's not so easy to find a sandworm. So, you finally come around. I'm about to give up, suffering as I am from the heat and fatigue. But then... But I hear a deep growl that resonates in my belly. Hey, I know you don't want to give up, but don't growl like that. Huh? I thought that was you. Why the hell would I make a weird sound like that? Can humans even make that sound? Then who? Or what made that noise? I look back in suspicion, but I see nothing but sand. There's nobody besides Lin and me. No animals are visible. This is getting creepy. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we should leave. I've got a bad feeling about this. Lin seems to think the same, so we increase our pace away from... Oh, take the longer path or get, go straight to the exit. The thing is, we are in a desert, right? And it's really freaking hot, so you want to get out of here as soon as possible. So, I'd personally say that go straight to the exit is the smartest and maybe the best choice. But we don't know what that growl was. Like, it could be a desert monster for all I know. So, I don't freaking know. But taking the longer path, I have a feeling that this option might even lead to a bad choice or a bad ending so I'm kind of interested what were to happen if we take the longer path but I st I still think this is the best choice but we are gonna try and take the longer path and see what happens let's see what happens are oh, we gonna get eaten for a while we run in the opposite direction from the exit yeah that was a bad idea okay <laughs> if even if this just result doesn't result in us getting eaten by something we'll just you know die from dehydration or something I think <sighs> seems like it lost us yeah did we really hear the sandworm that surprised me Lin and I stand on a quiet dune taking deep breaths Lin seems to have some stamina left but my legs are shaking already I haven't skipped a single day of training but I'm still not as strong as she is but I wanted to see it in person idiot it will kill us if we go try to see it. The sandworm is huge and destructive, and I don't think I can beat it. Oh, if you can't beat it, then I haven't got a prayer. I remember the sound of the sandworm's scream. I actually thought that the sandworm would be not necessarily like a tiny creature, but at least a small creature, but apparently it's huge. I'm glad that we didn't face it. It's scary thinking what would happen if we ran the wrong way. Seems like it's not around, so we should return home. We should. What? Oh dear. I wanted you to act according to my plan. A man suddenly appears on the dune. What the? Where did you come from? You! Lin assumes a fighting stance and looks at me. Is he your friend? I can't read his mind, same as the boy. Not a friend at all. That's cold, but I'm disappointed. Why didn't you fight that beast? The woman next to you is supposed to die. What? The man giggles slightly, 
but I can't see his face clearly as it's hidden under his hat. I can only hear his creepy laughter. What? I am supposed to... die? Lin and I look at each other in surprise. Yes, you are. And now all my efforts here are in vain. By the way, haven't you seen me before? Huh? Lin stares into his eyes. Then something strange happened to Lin. Wha what did I see? Inside Lin's head, images of the past are played that conflict with her own memories. Images of her parents, her brother, the man, and something red. Ah! Lin stumbles and kneels on the ground. Lin! What happened to you? I hurriedly put my hand on Lin's shoulder. Her shoulders are shaking. Lin! Lin! I call as loudly as I can, but she doesn't answer. I don't know what's happened to her. What have you done to Lin? Nothing. I've simply given Vir uh, Viridis her memory back. <gasps> Lin is Viridis confirmed. Oh, God. Given her memory back? I mean, it was kind of obvious, I'd say, because... He was saying that we were meant to cross paths and me and Lin have been close for like the entire time. And if I remember cl uh, clearly from the introduction, like you know the, the anime sort of intro, the uh, intro video, I think because they always introduce all of the characters there even if we haven't seen them in the story yet. And I think I've memorized all of them and there is no new characters that we are going to see. So the only one that would be Viridis would be a character that we already know and Lin seemed like the most likely one out of everyone right it, it was either Lin or like maybe Rosary but I kind of doubt that so yeah I have no idea what that means but I have to wake Lin up Lin answer me I shout her name as I pick her up the boy is calling me but I can't answer him now if those images were real my parents and brother were... Lin, mus uh, Lin Muscles refused to move, but she manages to glance at the man. I have met him before, and... She remembers now, it seems. How about this? See if Veritas can keep her mind. <laughs> A light appears from his right hand and strikes Lin. Ugh! Ow! Lin twitches a bit, then closes her eyes. A stream of tears flowing out. <sighs> hey, Lin! What's going on? I think he attacked Lin, but the light didn't seem to harm her. What was the light you shot at her? It's just to kill time, or to forget it all. Because of you two, I'll have to undo it again. Huh? I can't really understand what he's saying. What really happened to Lin? Wait... I'm holding Lin, but her body feels so cold to the touch. It can't be. I put my ear close to her heart. I can't hear a heartbeat. Oh, Viridis couldn't keep it together, as I expected. The truth is always so cruel. <laughs> what have you done to her? I put Lin on the ground and run at the man. I did her no harm. I simply returned what belongs to her. The man says with a grin. I tried to punch him in the face, but he easily dodges it. Are you going to fight me? You know you want me to! You killed Lin for that! Yeah, he wants to taunt me into fighting him because we acted against his will. I'm glad you're mature enough to know it's a trap. But you still fell for it. Lin hates to get involved with people, but she always helped me. I know she's kind at heart, and you killed her. I tried to punch him, losing myself in anger, but none of my attacks reach him. <laughs> You're indeed interesting, but your anger is a farce. The man approaches me, putting his face close to mine. You want to die with Veritas because you can't bear the bur burden of the guilt of letting her die. 
What? His word sends a shiver through my heart. I can't think of any other reason to attempt such a reckless fight. No, I... Don't worry. I will kill you as, as you wish. Because I am kind. <laughs> That's not a saying I've ever heard anyone say before. I'm gonna kill you because I'm a kind person. The man's right hand pierces through my body. Ugh! I want to argue that I'm not being suicidal. But I couldn't say that. And my consciousness fades. Oh my god. Ah, why did it end like this? I gave them one last chance, but he didn't recognize it. I think the beast would have done the trick here. I'll have to start over again. There are plenty of turns left for me. This guy, man. What the hell? So yeah, this was uh, definitely a bad ending, but we'll just start from the other point again. So this is basically the second time where we didn't really do what the mysterious man wanted us to, and it leads to his plan failing and us ultimately dying or something. So it seems that, uh, yeah, we're sort of... we're they lead us to believe that we have a choice but ultimately there's one right choice and a wrong choice but the ra right choice is basically just whatever the mysterious man sets up for us like everything that he is he said he called a monster didn't he or a sandworm he called it like a test or something I don't remember if he actually called it a test or like obstacle or something but it seems like he's putting everything in place and sort of testing us or perhaps training us because he said we're like sort of pawns or soldiers for him so i'm guessing he's putting up the obstacles for us to test us and to overcome so that we'll be strong enough for us to join him in his whatever his plan is like that's gotta have something to do with what lee said as well you know with like some sort of mysterious organization or something planning something here in japan that's gotta have to do something with the mysterious man as well and we're for some reason wrapped up in this as well and he also said something returning something that belongs to her when he was like uh, putting the light in in Lin or Veridis as we now know who that is which is Lin um, so I don't know if he took like part of her memory or something and he returned that to the to her but it, it kind of gave me that vibe or that feeling or just it kind of reminded me of that like he, he gave her something and the only thing that sort of came to, came to mind was just like parts of her memory perhaps but yeah um, it seems like we have no choice but to just do what the mysterious man wants us to do so that is obviously to stay alive and we, we the, the, the way to do that is to just go straight to the exit is it my imagination or did that sound just get louder? I hear that sound again, and a chill goes up my spine. Damn! Lower your head and take cover! What? Lin pushes my head to the ground before I can talk to her. Then the ground shakes hard with a loud noise. What's going on? An earthquake? As the shaking stops, I get up and take stock of our surroundings. I can't believe this Lin's face twitches as she assumes a fighting stance is she looking at oh my freaking god it's huge is that the sandworm it's as big as a building as for its shape I think an incredibly oversized worm sums it up this doesn't even look like a freaking worm oh my god God, that's the creature currently before us. This doesn't look good. Let's get out of here. Okay, Lin and I run from the sandworm as fast as we can. Watch out! Thud. Lin pushes me hard. Then, it makes a huge crater right where Lin and I had been standing before she pushed me. You saved my life, Lin. No time to talk. What a ridiculous attack! The ever strong Lin looks so desperate. That tells me 
how powerful the sandworm is. I'll distract that bastard, so you must run alone, now! N no way! I can't leave you here! You're bothering me! While we argue, the sandworm readies itself for another attack. I can't read its mind! Oh, you can only read the thoughts of people! I guess Lin can only read the minds of humans, not beasts like that. If that's the case, I can probably assume we're in big trouble, right? As I think this is over, the sandworm approaches Lin. If it does that attack again, there won't even be a piece of us left behind. Damn, gotta figure out its next attack. Is it left, right, or front? I don't think I can dodge it after watching its movement, so I'll dodge to the right and pray. Damn it, isn't there anything I can do but stand here and watch? But dump. Just as I think that, my heart beats faster. Why is this happening now? Is it the butterfly effect? Oh yeah, the butterfly. The butterfly. The world turns monochrome. Blue. Butterfly? A blue butterfly flies in front of me, as if laughing at me. When the butterfly nears my face, my consciousness fades. Then, the blurred images before me makes my legs tremble. Oh my god, Lin! There's a huge crater right in the direction she went, and I can't see Lin inside that crater, or anywhere nearby. Badump, my heart beats again. Then the colors come back to the world. Now I see Lin again, facing the sandworm. Lin! Jump to the left, not right! Huh? Lin reacts to my words, leaning her weight to the left and rolling out of the way. Then the sandworm charges in the opposite direction of where Lin rolled to. That was close! Thank you, boy! Phew, I'm glad you're okay. The sandworm's head is stuck deep in the sand, preventing it from moving. Now's our chance to run! Lin, run from it! Quickly! As I grab Lin's hand, we run away from the sandworm. I can't afford to be worried about losing my way. We have to get a as far away from the sandworm as possible. Oh, we survived that somehow. Oh my god. Well, I'm gonna have to end the video here, but we survived the sandworm attack. Oh god. Dang. When I heard first heard the word sandworm, that huge freaking scary ass creature was not what I had in mind and I don't think anyone else had that in mind either. But yeah, one thing that I sort of start to think, it, it's kind of like a, a theory rather than just thinking that that's actually the case. But remember that our name or at least the mysterious man called us Cerula, right? Which is uh, perhaps it's Latin for blue. I don't know. It, at least it, it means blue in some other language. So we are blue. And I, I remember someone in, else in the comments mentioning that we are blue because we actually see a blue butterfly, which sounds that could be the case, right? That that we only see a blue butterfly and uh, Linus Veridis, which was green, I think. So it could be possible that Lin has a special, different sort of special power that than us, because we, I think we have a special power just like Lin. But Lin's is different. I think Lin's special power is that actually the reading the mind part, but it comes with with a butterfly as well, which is why she is Veridis and sort of has that same power as me. But we don't really know that of each other because, well, w us Tadayoshi don't doesn't know exactly what the power is and what the butterfly means either, other than just that little note that we got from from the mysterious man and everything that he told us which wasn't that much so we don't know that much uh yeah so i'm just kind of thinking that lin perhaps sees a green butterfly as someone in the comments uh, mentioned in the comments as well and that her power or that the butterfly the power that it gives her is reading the minds it could be that i'm not entirely sure or she just actually is able to read minds but it would sort of give her sort of a more plausible reason as to why she's able to read minds right at the moment it's just like okay she can read minds but why is she just born that way or what 
and yeah, because uh, everything else in this, um, the entire world seems normal. Like it seems pretty similar to our world, right? Except for the butterflies and the mysterious man. That's like the only sort of. We know that there are different powers at work here, but there, it just seems like one element is different from our world and the rest sort of seems the same it's not like it's an entire supernatural world with a lot of crazy and weird shit happening that's not comparable to our world i feel like this world that this story plays in is somewhat really really similar to our world so which is why i started to feel like she ha must have a reason for her mind reading powers and the butterfly could be that reason and that our special power is just sometimes i don't know uh, maybe Lin actually is able to control it, which, he why, which is why she can read minds at will. And we haven't evolved our power yet to the point where we can use it at our own will. Because now it just starts to seem to happen randomly, right? It happened only, I think, twice so far. Maybe once before. I, but I only remember twice at the very least, which was with the coin toss and now again. So... Yeah, that's sort of my theory about that, that we have this the superpower as well of just seeing flashes of the future and then, or yeah, flashes of what could happen or actually what happens in the future. But yeah, it, it obviously doesn't play out in real time and therefore we can, based on that knowledge that we gain from it, make the correct decision of what we saw in that flash of the future. If that makes sense i probably lost everyone's like what are you talking about but i hope that makes sense at least i i, I probably like <laughs> i probably like worded it in a really complicated way where i can word it probably in a much simpler way as well but the words currently doesn't come to mind and it's quite late as well so brain is like functioning at 10 percent or something but yeah, um, I'm gonna end the video here. Um, it's really shaping up once again just to be very interesting. <laughs> that freaking sandworm, man. Holy crap. <laughs> At least we survived it, it seems so far. I mean, it could be that it's still chasing us after this well, but we'll have to find out in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace!